juicy gulab jamuns are used in this trifle with fruit salad, crushed mari biscuits, custard enhanced with rose water, and rose syrup enhanced strawberry jello. More crushed biscuits are added, followed by more gulab jamuns, custard jello, more fruit, more crushed biscuits, and it's topped with fresh cream and sprinkled with almonds and pistachios. And the piece de resistance is a plump gulab jamun and some edible roses on the top. Welcome back to Cravings and Adventures. I have a surprise for you. Today, we're going to be making gulab jamun trifle. Yes, we're taking the delicious gulab jamun and I'm going to turn it into a trifle format. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. I'm going to be using Mari biscuits in this recipe. I will crush about two cups and I will also prepare some jello. This is an 85 gram package of strawberry jello. I'm just going to add one cup of boiling hot water to it. And to enhance its flavor, I'm going to add one tablespoon of ruafsa or rose syrup. And I'm going to mix this well until it's dissolved. Allow this to cool and I will set it in the fridge for a few hours till it's set. I have two and a half cups of milk here and I'm going to add four tablespoons of sugar. I have five tablespoons of custard powder here. I'm just going to add a little bit of milk to dissolve it. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of rose water to the milk. Once the milk starts to boil, I'm going to add the dissolved custard powder. Once the milk has thickened, I'm going to transfer this to another container and I'm going to allow it to chill overnight in my fridge. I have 12 gulab jamuns here. I got these from a store, but I have a recipe on my channel should you wish to make them from scratch. I've sliced these in half except one that I'm going to use as a garnish. I'm using a small narrow dish for this as I have only 12 gulab jamuns, but you can use a larger dish if you want to double the recipe. I'm adding the halves in and I'm propping them up so they look whole from the outside. I have a 398 can of mixed fruit and I'm going to spoon in some of the fruit at the bottom. Layer in about one third of the crushed Mari biscuits, followed by about a cup or so of custard. I cut the jello into cubes and I'm going to add half over the custard. Add another one third of the total crushed Mari biscuits. Next, I'm going to add another layer of gulab jamuns. This time, I'm also going to fill the center as well. Top it with another cup of custard. Next, I'm going to add the second half of the jello cubes. Add more fruit. And I'm going to top it with the last one third of the crushed biscuits. I'm now going to top everything with a cup of sweet whipped cream. I'm just going to spread this out and garnish it with two tablespoons of slivered almonds and two tablespoons of slivered pistachios. I'm now going to add that whole gulab jamun right in the center and I'm going to tuck in a few edible roses and this stunning dessert is ready to eat. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings for Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for gulab jamun trifle. It's so different, everyone's going to love it. If you love my video, do give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I really do love hearing from you. 
Also, be sure to share this video with your family and friends, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you rung the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and TikTok. Until I see you next time, do take care. Happy eating. Bye.